Hey guys, what's up? Toba Loco here. Welcome back to the Women's World Cup DLC for FIFA 23. And today we are here with Group D with another debutant nation, and that is Haiti. Haiti were actually one of the last teams to qualify for this tournament. I'm fairly sure they had to win a playoff match. I can't remember who against, but they did it. And now their reward is a Group D matchup with England, Denmark, and China. This looked to be a difficult group until I saw the ratings for Denmark and China. Uh, Denmark are just slightly higher and China as well are uh, just slightly higher as well. England of course being the best team in the group. But I reckon Haiti could hold their own in this one if we play well. Here we are then. Haiti's first match of this Women's World Cup is against England. I don't really expect too much from this match. I'd be happy if I just scored in this one. I'm so happy that I can bring these new debutant nations to you guys. Even though you've probably already played your own versions at home and stuff like that. But doing new debutant nations on World Cup games... Are it's always just so fun for me and Haiti is going to be no different here. I hope I can have a good run with them. I reckon round of 16 is probably the ceiling for this run unless something special can happen into the box here. A nice idea by uh, England but trouble not over yet. Great challenge but still not over and it hits the side netting. Honestly it would be an absolute miracle if we can get anything here against England. I'm kind of getting used to this DLC a bit more. You've got to be quite quick with the passing and it's quite a chaotic mode as well compared to the men's one. I've seen a lot of people say that online saying that the women's portion of the game is a bit more chaotic than the men's portion which is probably a fair assumption considering that most of the time I get battered. Oh great play by England. They go for it and that's a goal for England and that is 1-0 daily with the goal. And she took that really nicely. Um, it was just over in an instant, pretty much. Like, pass, 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 bang, straight in. Like, that's what happens on this game if you lose possession of the ball. So quick to concede. But it was bound to happen. You know, we're only Haiti. Come on, Haiti. Push forward. Try and get a goal back before half-time. Borgella running forward here. She's a bit fast, isn't she? And that's a goal! Wow, she's so quick. And that is 1-1. Haiti have equalised just before half-time with a mental run from Borgella. Wow, okay, maybe we found the perfect striker here. She seems really quick. Look at that, the way she just skinned that like centre-back in England there. And she went through on goal and just smashes it in. I don't know what the goalkeeper was really doing on that play, but okay. Well, nice one. Rose Lord Borgella has scored, and that is 1-1. One, one. Short corner again by England. Shut the fuck up. No. Oh, what? Okay, uh, that's a goal. Daly has scored, or Daly has scored to make it what? 2-1 to England now. Okay, well, it was a bit of a disappointing goal to concede. But, okay, we are, again, we are Haiti. At least we scored in this one. I'm happy to score with Haiti. Go on, I can see an opening. Number seven, Louis. She scored, that's 2-2. Two, two. 72 minutes in and it's a 2-2 two, two so far. That's insane. And uh, Louis or Lewis has scored to make it 2-2. Two, two. Into the middle here. Okay, not to who I wanted it to. And that's a great save. There were so many bodies in the box that I just thought, get it to one person, but it went to the wrong person. But at least we got the shot off and we're still pressing England here. Look at this. Louis, but the other one. Oh, tipped over the bar. 89th minute, can Haiti do something here to snatch the game away from England? It's been a very, very good performance. This is going to be more than likely the final kick for England. I don't know what the point of this free kick is. Headed away by Haiti, and that's going to be a 2-2 draw. Brilliant by Haiti. Maybe we might have to start bumping up the difficulty now that we're getting used to the chaos of this DLC. Um, the first couple of runs, I was a little bit, you know, um, 
sort of like overwhelmed, I would say, by the play. But now I'm kind of getting used to it and I know how to especially exploit attackers in this one. Like attacking play just seems so simple. So with England and Haiti drawing, that meant that China lost against Denmark. So Denmark have got um, a two point advantage on Haiti. So it'll be interesting to see if Haiti can actually beat Denmark or China. Second match of this group is China versus Haiti. This should be a very well contested match in this one. Both teams are rated almost the same. China just pip Haiti in terms of some ratings and stuff. But I'm quite excited to see what we can do in this one considering that we drew against England. Passing it around with purpose. There's only two defenders at the back here. I don't know why I stood off of her and China have scored. Alright, well we got a game. China have scored. That is number 7 and that is 1-0 to China. China pressing. They go for the power shot. Still pressing. Oh, great challenge to stop the ball from getting played in for the sweat. Through ball. Come on. It's number six. Go on. Oh, yes. That was a beautifully taken goal. And that is 1-1. One, one. Haiti have equalised. Haiti seem to be a good team when they are down by one goal. You know, coming back from behind there. It was a great ball roll to lose her defender there. And tap it into the back of the net. Really nice finish. So it's half time and Haiti and China are drawing by one goal to one. China have definitely given me more of the game than I'd expected of them. But then again, you know, we are the same rating. So there is possibility it could still end as a draw. But Haiti have done well in this World Cup, you know, to draw against England. And we could hopefully win this game as well. Haiti, lots of bodies in the box here. And I got slide tackled there. That's going to be a foul for uh, China there. We could try and score a free kick. Let's go for it. Maybe our first free kick of the Women's World Cup. Let's give it a go. I don't know how good this girl is at free kicks, but we'll try. Mondesir. She goes for it. And okay, a bit weak, but at least it was kind of on target. Come on. That was a good ball. Go on. Chip. And, oh, just why? That would have been a great goal. Would have been a fantastic goal. China, no. That was a good ball. Oh, what a save. What a save by the Haitian keeper. And that's going to be it. Haiti and China played a really quite a impressive draw in terms of the shots at goal and everything. Quite an entertaining draw, I should say. Um... You know, it may not seem like it on the face of it or after this video gets edited, but it was quite entertaining. Lots of shots, but the goalkeepers were sort of the heroes of this match. Now we got to try and rely on beating Denmark, which is going to be harder than it seems. As it currently stands though, look at this. Denmark have beaten England by two goals to one and Haiti are in second place with two points although England could easily beat China and overtake us or China could beat England and overtake us if we lose against Denmark. It all comes down to this match Haiti versus Denmark. We have to win even if we draw England I reckon will definitely beat China and probably advance if we draw or lose so we must win this one. Will Denmark just take their foot off the gas a little bit because they've already got the six points they need to go through and hopefully they'll just let us, you know, get a couple of goals and just ride out until the round of 16. Come on, Denmark, you know you want to. Good play by Haiti. Pushing forward here over the top, maybe. Yeah, that was a good one. And it's a goal. It's so easy to score from that angle. And that is 1-0 to Haiti. Well, I mean, we're already 1 0 up. That was such a nice, well worked goal by Borghella. And the Haitians have taken a 1 0 lead over Denmark. That ball over the top was fantastic. And then shooting from that angle, it's so overpowered on FIFA 23. It's not even funny. Like, <laughs> it's so overpowered. Goalkeepers just don't know what to do. Hopefully, Denmark won't go too try hard in getting this equalizer back. They've already gone through, so this is kind of like. Well, maybe a training game for them. 
But hopefully they just don't try hard and actually try and win this result too hard. But you know they're going to, and yet I knew it. The goal was there. It was coming from that play, and it's 1-1 now. Okay, we need to get that goal back after half time. I know I keep commenting on these kits and stuff, like every gameplay I do, but I like Denmark's kit as well. That's actually a nice kit. I'm not too sure about Haiti's. I like the blue of it, but I don't know. It's um, not really got a amazing design to it, but Denmark's looks really nice. Like, with the sort of white bits on the side and stuff. Quite a nice kit. Denmark pushing forward. And it's crossed in. Great touch, but fantastic save by the goalkeeper. Denying Denmark another goal that probably would have put us on the brink of elimination. Would be an absolute miracle if China did us a favour in the last match of the group stage. If we're going to draw or lose this match. Oh, at the moment, it looks like we're going to draw, which is a bit of a shame because, well, Haiti have been basically drawing all their matches, which which is good. You know, it's on par with New Zealand in 2010. Um, but yeah, I wanted to actually get through to the knockout stages if possible. Oh, it might be too little, too late. Oh, tackled. But why did it let me? Oh, that is so BS. I tackled her and it didn't even let her react to it. Oh no, that's a draw and I think Haiti might have gone out, maybe, just maybe, it depends if England have beaten China, there's a very small chance that China might have drawn that game or taken something from that game, no, oh, England beat China in the end and Haiti go out in the group stages but only by one point and it was quite an impressive campaign, unbeaten, um, but with three draws, you're not going to have enough points to go through if you're drawing all three games, especially in a group like that. And of course, the game does not simulate to the end. So this is your round of 16. Norway versus Japan, Spain versus Switzerland, United States versus Argentina, Italy versus Portugal, Denmark versus Nigeria, Australia versus England, Morocco, France, and Brazil versus Colombia. And I really hope that you guys enjoyed this little run with Haiti. I did try to do the impossible and we came very close. But going unbeaten in a group stage with Haiti... A debutant nation is pretty cool, I think. So if you did enjoy this one, give it a like and subscribe. Keep it loco as always. And I'll see you again for the next video.